Hey coach, if you want to learn about the top five UK regions to open a football academy business, then watch this video. It's going to give you an insight into which are the hotbeds at the moment in new football here in the UK. And also, it's going to give you an insight into the reasons why these regions are growing and how, if you are in these regions and you want to start a football academy business, now is a great time to do so. So enjoy the video and if you need more help or you want help with your football academy business, visit the description below. We can set up a call together. Okay, thank you for watching. Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the top five UK regions to open a football academy business. Now, if you've been following our channel for a while, then you will know that if you scroll back, I, I created a, a video. This was a, a few months back about the top eight cities in the United States to open a football academy business. So as most of you know, we work with football trainers. In general, we work with sports trainers, but I, I focus myself more on, on the football industry. Uh, and we, myself, I speak to coaches every single day from all parts of the world. So I created that video mainly for football trainers that are out in the, in the United States football, soccer, trainers that are in the United States to give them a bit of an insight into the biggest uh, up, upcoming cities that I feel that soccer is going to really take off. Now, after a lot of questions, uh, I've now decided to create this small presentation on the top five UK regions to open a football academy business. Now, post-COVID, uh, the football training industry in the U in the UK is exploding. Like right? it's getting bigger and bigger. There's more and more trainers that are starting one to one uh, businesses, uh, group training, football academies. Now some are shifting towards opening private uh, football clubs as well. So their their training academies got done really good. There's loads of demand now, and now they're shifting towards opening. Um, clubs so it's a real hot spot at the moment for youth football I mean to be honest with you it all it always has been right the UK has been a hotbed for for youth football and football in general um, but something that I've been seeing is that after COVID this industry has got bigger and bigger and more and more parents are looking to invest in private trainers so hopefully this video helps you. Okay, I'm going to break down the five top uh, top five UK regions that I feel at the moment are quite hot at the moment. They're big on private training. And these are regions that when I speak to coaches and, and football trainers, most of them are in these regions. And also I've interviewed uh, coaches as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. And if you need any questions, visit the description below. You'll be able to get in contact with me. So we're going to start off with uh, region number five. So the way I've broken down this presentation is that I'm looking at the amount of grassroots uh, football leagues in a region. I'm also looking at how many power league football centers are in that region and uh, goals football centers okay and also in terms of the biggest city in population so the reason why i'm going to be looking at power league and goals is not long ago i did speak with a, a couple of people that are quite high up in those companies and they gave me a really great insight into uh, how they strategically open football centers across the uk and Something that they mentioned was that they look at uh, markets where youth football is quite big and where football participation is big. So I've grabbed this data and that's why I'm going to present it today. 
And based on the information that they gave me, and based on a little bit of research I've done in the UK, right, this is why I've come up with these five, top five regions to open a football academy business. Okay, so if we take Scotland West, for example, okay, so that this is number five. Uh, this region's got four junior grassroots football leagues. Uh, it currently has two power league uh, football centres. There are plans to open more. Uh, two goals football centres as well. And the biggest city uh, in this region is Glasgow. Region that is heavily populated in population and also participation levels are very high uh, amongst among um, kids. So a lot of kids in this region are playing football. And if you're a coach and you live in this region, then it's a fantastic place to look to open a, a football academy business uh, today or, or in the near future. Okay, so that's five. Now, number four uh, is the Yorkshire and Humber region in England. So if we have a look at uh, the information that I've gathered, we've got in this region, we've got 22 junior grassroots leagues currently, uh, two power league football centres across this region, and four goals football centres. Okay, now the biggest city in this region is Leeds. Most of you will know the biggest uh, club that have come out of this, this city is Leeds United. And I believe it's the only city in the UK that currently only has one big professional uh, football club. Okay. I've spoken to a lot of coaches that operate their business from this region. And they tell me it's a fantastic place at the moment. Um, there's more and more kids getting into football and also there's more uh, AstroTurf or free G pitches being built around the region to try and get clubs to, to use them and to get more kids involved in uh, football. So great region. And that is why it's number four on my list. So if we look at the next one, which is number three, this is the West Midlands in England okay so if we have a look at 21 junior grassroots leagues now this information when I talk about junior grassroots leagues there may be more that I'm missing out but I've gathered this information from the local football association in this region so for the stats that I've got is that within these regions that I'm looking at I've gone on to the the football association a website. I've also spoken to a couple of people in those uh, FA uh, positions, and this is the information that they have provided to me. So this could change from now until when you watch it. But at the moment, 21 junior grassroots uh, football leagues in this in the West Midlands region. You've got two power league football centers at the moment operating and seven goals football centers in this region as well. So if we have a look in total, you've got nine football centers that are in this region. And if, if there are football centers in these regions, means there's a lot of demand for football. OK, it's a very populated region as well. And we've got the biggest city being Birmingham, okay, which also has two professional um, football clubs. The first one is, well, the main one, which is the one that's doing really well at the moment, is Aston Villa. And then we've got Birmingham City that play in the championship. Okay, Now, when I say main one, I know if you're a, a Birmingham City fan, you're going to be saying to me, Leo, but, you know, why are you saying Aston Villa is the main one? Okay. I'm just saying because they're in the Premier League, right? Birmingham City, again, big club, huge support, uh, very popular. Uh, but Aston Villa and Birmingham from uh, Birmingham are the two biggest uh, football clubs in this region. Okay, if we move on to the second one, okay, 
is the northwest of England, okay, the northwest region. This is a region that's really hot at the moment for youth football. Okay, to be honest with you, it always has been, but it is getting more and more popular. A lot of coaches that I'm currently speaking to actually are based in this region that are looking to either start or they have already a football training business. So Northwest includes cities like uh, Liverpool, Manchester, to name a few. Okay, and if we look, huge participation level in this region. We've got 39 junior grassroots football leagues. Okay, massive. Uh, Power League are very big in this region. Eight Power League football centres. Uh, we, we've also got four goals, football centres as well. And there's a couple as well indoor football uh, venues in this area, such as Pro Football Arena uh, and a couple more that uh, I can't remember the names on top of my head, but I have come across them uh, doing my research. Okay, so big hub for football at the moment. Big hub for grassroots football and youth football. So if you're a coach in this region and you're looking or you're thinking to start up a football academy, 100% would recommend it. Okay, really big at the moment. As you can see, biggest city, Manchester. Manchester, two biggest clubs from that area. We've got Manchester City and Manchester United, obviously. But then you've got the, the area of Liverpool, which is you've got Liverpool, and Everton Football Club as well. But also you've got Greater Manchester. There's loads of football clubs within that region and areas around Liverpool as well that have a lot of professional football clubs as well. So really, really big hotbed for, for football in uh, the UK. Right now, number one uh, is the South East of England. Now, this is probably one of the most populated regions in the entire uh, UK and that's probably mainly because that is where London is based and London is the biggest city in the UK with the highest population but if we have a look okay the southeast is not just made up of London but areas and regions across the outside of London as well but if we have a look we've got 53 junior grassroots leagues across this region massive and there's going to be more and more every year uh, as the population gets bigger as more demand for grassroots football uh, gets bigger uh, we've got 12 power league football centers that's like almost double in some of the regions that we've looked at uh, and 16 goals football centers uh, across the south southeast of england as well okay again double the numbers of some most of the regions that we've looked at and then if you if you have a look, the biggest city is London and London has not just a population of over nine million uh, people, but it's got a lot of professional football clubs, but also has a lot of semi-professional football clubs. And it's, again, another really big hotbed for, for football, for youth football and a fantastic place if you're looking to build uh, and grow and or even start a football academy business alongside uh, the northwest i feel that the southeast of england the northwest they're always kind of in competition with each other in terms of uh, youth football for 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 the uk okay so hopefully this presentation i hope has been insightful uh, it's something that i've been meaning to do for a, for a while it's more just educational but if you are a coach and you're in any of the regions that I've spoken about, or even if you're not in those regions and you want to reach out to me, you want more help with your with your football training business. This is something I do every day. I work with with football trainers. So uh, visit the link below. We can book. A, you can book a call with me. We can jump on Zoom, ask you a couple of questions to see where you're currently at and see where you want to get to. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.